Well hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Everything Sim. Today we're in a very very different video, we're doing Microsoft Flight Simulator. We'll be flying the Phoenix A320, uh, since the Block 2, sorry rather, V2 Block 2 update has just been dropped by Phoenix, which includes the IAE engines. Uh, I must say, I have heard them in YouTube videos and they sound really good, so I can't wait to uh, for takeoff. So we'll go ahead, get GPU started, set up the EFB. I think we've already got the jetway connected, which is always good. Um, Phoenix have included a full GSX integration for this aircraft, which means that you don't have to have your own profile for it, which is always good. So just doing my overhead panel flow. Set up everything here. Something that's a little bit different from the air uh, prior to the release of this update was that you could click on, say, I don't know, the dome light switch down there, um, and you could just click and drag it. Whereas now you've got to actually wait uh, or look for the arrow that says up or down and then click that, which uh, I don't like that as much, but I'm sure there's a way to change that. But we'll stick for it for now. Gonna get rid of that EFB over there, save on a bit of performance as I'm not using it. So the IRS will take about uh, five minutes to align, but that won't be an issue. So we get the door page all done. Yes, yeah, so we've got the jetway connected. Just making sure my side stick and um, my quadrant are all sort of set up. It's the worst thing, you go to push back, you go to s increase some thrust and it doesn't work. Especially on VATSIM as well, because we will be flying on VATSIM today. Um, I am connected to VATSIM, I'm just on the Unicom frequency, which isn't being used at the moment because uh, we've got Ground, Tower and ATIS online for Gatwick. Um, so today we'll be off to Prague. I believe we're scheduled to land on runway 06, but that may or, that may, or may not change. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get our our MCD all set up. Just stick on the constraints. So frequency for ground, which is what we'll be starting off on, is one two one eight oh five. But I'm just testing out the other frequencies. Because there's two frequencies, but I'm guessing it's 805. I think we'll sort that out in a minute. So yeah, we are. Our airline is Wizz Air today. Um, only slight discontinuity with that is that they, uh, Phoenix, haven't released the Sharklet wingtips yet. Um, and I know that Wizz Air only run the A320 with IE engines and the sharklets on the end of the wings. But um, just trying to get my hours up on Valanta for the Wizz Air. Forgot to mention as well, uh, a huge thanks to the Colin and Mindy show for letting me use their PC for this recording. Um, currently running this on a 4090 so it runs a bit runs a bit better than uh, train sim and tram sim videos you might have seen on the channel go check them out they'll be in the right hand corner now for you I'll probably link the tram sim video because that's the most recent one but yeah go check out their channel if you haven't already um, I'll probably link them in the description and they are at the bottom of my YouTube channel page so definitely go check them out they've got some great content So yeah, we're just setting up the MCDU in here, getting the flight number punched in and all that. If you do see the mouse go off to the left of the screen there, as you just might have done there, uh, that's the second monitor. Um, so I've got all my information, like my charts, flight number, flight pan, all that good stuff on there. So if you wonder why, that is why. I must say though, when I do click on the second monitor to my left there, um, it focuses the frames per second on that side. So during taxi, if the frames drop on 
this at the main screen that's recording Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, that's because I've probably gone to check my flight plan or something like that. Um, but I always click back on the main screen, so don't worry. So I've just got the wind uplink there. So winds look fine. So that's the first init page done. So we'll follow diff strip and we'll do our flight plan. So we're scheduled to leave 08 right. What I tend to do is I put in my scheduled stuff. So I'm scheduled for 08 right and the Odvik to Zulu departure. But I'll just change that um, if I get a different one when I call for clearance. Uh, we won't do our arrival just yet, we'll leave that for now. So we've done our secondary flight plan, armed it. So now we're doing the second edit page. Have we got our... no we haven't got our load sheet. So we'll have to load up the passengers for that. So we'll call for boarding. It's really well integrated actually this is. Um, before you used to have to select like which baggage load you'd want and what airline and all that. It's all done for you here. So I'm really enjoying that. Another thing with the new update is um, automatic cabin announcements. So as I'm in the cabin for engine startup, which I like to do, you may hear announcements like you can hear that one there, possibly. So they're all customised. This one's obviously Wizz Air, EasyJet would have EasyJet, etc, etc. So it's really well done. This is the first full flight I'm doing with this update, so you might have to leave me a little bit of patience uh, in terms of setting up, getting used to it all. I've only had a brief look. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous livery out there. Um, like I say, once the sharklets are released, I'll be very happy. And then they should hopefully release the 19 and the 21. Um, I wouldn't expect it soon, especially because of how much hard work they put into this update. Um, just happy with what we've got at the moment. It's very, very well done. So yeah, one more minute to the IRS are aligned we'll be able to check out our flight plan on the map. Okay, so we've got our load sheet in now. I think the computer's put in the zero fuel weight and the zero fuel weight CG. I think they've put them in as current. I need to put in the estimated. So 59.1, then it'll be 30.9. There we go. Block fuel. Uh, check that out in a second. On the EFB, because the estimated fuel on board is currently minus 1.1, which is not good. Uh, 6.8. There we are. So all of the other, all of the other figures have been put in for us, and then we'll just get ready to do the Perth page but we won't do it yet I'll wait till uh, we've done boarding most likely to do the performance page right so our IRS have aligned so we'll check out the flight plan in a minute most likely Thank you. 
So we're just waiting for boarding to be completed. There we go. Aircraft loaded. Fantastic. So we've got our performance done. That's our... Oh, we need fuel. Is there a fuel truck? Yes, there is. Brilliant. And we've also got the catering. Probably should have done the catering um, before boarding, but hey. Not gonna lie, I did forget about boarding. Yeah, I do love GSX. I mean, just watching the uh, f fuel pump men do their thing is pretty cool.
probably a bit late to say this now, but I won't be talking much until we uh, call for clearance. Uh, just try to focus on getting the aircraft set up pretty quickly because we are on a bit of a time constraint. Right, we'll go ahead and get uh, logged onto that sim, or get the correct channel in, I suppose. So, 121. I'm going to try 905 real quick. No, I don't think there's anything there. We'll try 805 is the next one. So, we'll wind it down. There we go. Juliet, please. There we are. So, right on Juliet, F1775. There we are. Right, we'll call for clearance in a sec. And Gatwick Ground, good morning, uh, good afternoon rather. Wizair 287 Foxtrot at stand 101, type A320 with Mike, uh, ready to copy IFR to Prague. Uh, Wizair 2778 Foxtrot, I believe. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a flight plan. Gatwick Ground, easy time, one of the three holes in the short half off. Easy 51138, firm, I'll call you back shortly. And Easy 5113, um, I've just waited for an aircraft to move. You can now taxi stand 53 by your Papa and Lima. Stand by the uh, Papa and Lima, Easy 5113. Round, get another one to the right was number, stand by one. Sky Travel 129 there, I'm a bit busy, I'll need to redo your whole flight plan, so it'll take me a few minutes to do. If there's a problem, I can go flying, take off, and then reconnect to an online, if there is a problem. <laughs> your, your flight plan's completely in invalid. Well, this, uh, this is from Simbrief, I don't know how to change it. I can change it for you, just give me a few minutes, as I said. Okay, 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 thank you. Air France 775, it'll be a left on Tango and then a right on 26 right. Left on Tango, right on 26 right. Air France 775. Kalen 1611, taxi at a point, you get 408 right via Juliet. Actually, to Juliet 4, to. Sorry, say again, I forget about 61. KLM 1611, taxi at a point to get 408 right via Juliet. Taxi to holding point uh, Juliet 4, uh, holding point 08 right via Juliet, KLM 161. Yeah, we're going with Z2. Actually, the two standing is ready to taxi to uh, 08 right. Through 277 taxi, Juliet hold short, Quebec. Taxi by uh, Juliet holding short, Quebec, uh, 277. Air France 775, contact out Cal, 124-4230. Got completely uh, overstepped there. Air France 775, contact out Cal, 124-4230. Contact out, decimal thing, Air France 775. And Gabby Ground, Wizz Air 287, Fox here. Yeah, is there a bang on through for you? Eighth, um, just give me two minutes. Okay. Uh, Super so Admiral, uh, just a quick one. I know you're busy. Do you know how long it will be for pushback? Uh, Suit 141, I don't even see score key anymore. 3415 for the score. Uh, was that to me? Uh, Suit so right, um, 3415 for your score, please. Uh, my score is 3145. I don't see you. Easy, but I'm going to go around with four pushes done. Let's stand by break. Uh, easy 5113. You can taxi stand 52 straight ahead. Stand by 5113. Easy, 
Easy 5 4, Hotel Stand 2 3 0, you push and start through face south. Push out through face south, easy 5 4 Hotel. Get to delivery, Lufthansa 035, information on the break, going 973, standing at 573, we are on Boeing 747-800, requesting IFR, clear it to Frankfurt. Uh, Lufthansa 035, I'll call you back, key number 3. Air France 775, I need you to contact Gout Tower 124230. Then one six one one same for you, clear out with tower one two four two three zero. Okay, tower one two four dash one two three zero bye bye one six one. Speedbird two five four two ready for push and start. So two five four two send one eight push and start through face west. Push and start approved, face west for speedbird two five four two. Easy five eight Lima Yankee on frequency. Well, five eight Lima Yankee on frequency, go ahead. Easy 58 Lima Yankee Tanks, it'll be Alpha November Papa Lima Stand 113. Alpha November Papa Lima Stand 113, 58 Lima Yankee. 2277, continue taxi out of point GDF 408 right via GDF. Uh, continue taxi via Juliet, uh, holding point 08 right, so, uh, 277. Just confirm holding point GDF 408 right via GDF. Please take the holding point. Juliet 4. Juliet 4 it will be. Okay, ground handle top check, 1, 5, 2, 3. Ground handle top check, send by my alpha with you on Charlie Remy. Subject 7, Bravo Alpha, Gout Ground, hello, Roger, I'll clear back. Break, uh, Easy 78, Whiskey, Taxi Holding Point, Juliet, uh, 408, right by Juliet. Taxi to Holding Point, Juliet 4, by Juliet, uh, Easy 78, Whiskey. Easy 1, 7, Unit on Foxtrot, same for you, Juliet 4, uh, Runway 08, right by Juliet. Juliet 4, Runway 08, right via Juliet, Easy 1, 7, Unit on Foxtrot. Too bad on one, Swalk set, request to do four, push back. Yeah, stand by, Miss Gavin Air. Few aircraft for you delay one to two minutes. Uh, no worries, just be back for one. Okay, we're ground handle, top deck one, five, two, three, stand five, one. Requesting IFR clearance to a destination. We have November. It is Tom Jet one, five, two, three, gap ground, hello, Rod G, number four for clearance in a little bit. Thing. One Jet number four, top deck one, five, two, three. Tom Jet 7 Bravo Alpha Taxi Stand 130 via Juliet Papa uh, Alpha uh, Juliet Papa Alpha uh, Kilo. Taxi Stand 130 via Juliet Papa Alpha and Kilo Tom Jet 7 Bravo Alpha. Tom Jet 7 Bravo Alpha, sorry, it's my bad. Juliet Papa and Kilo. Juliet Papa and Kilo Tom Jet 7 Bravo Alpha. Stand in the 1111 is type A320 Neo at Stand 27. With information November on board, question I for clearance to Brussels. Easy 1111, Gap Ground, hello Roger, I'll call you back in number 5. Break, uh, speedbird 277, contact Gap Tower 124.230. 204, 234277, cheers, bye. Easy 78, Whiskey, same for you, Gap Tower 124.230. 124, Easy 78, Whiskey, bye. Rick Ground, good day, Evelyn uh, 375 at stand 133 is a Boeing 737 with 8th of November request IFR clearance to Stuttgart. Berlin 375, Gap Ground, hello, Roger, number 6 for clearance, I'll clean that shortly. With their 287 Fox, Strike, got your clearance and ready. With 287 Fox, ready to copy. Clear to your destination, I'll pick 2 Zulu Squawk 6361. Oh, why? I touched my space bar accidentally. Uh, Oddvik 2 Zulu. Oddvik 2 Zulu, departure, Squawk 6361. Uh, was there 287 Fox? 
Advic to Zulu departure. I did say that. Advic to Zulu departure, was there to be at Fox? Is he 17 uniform Fox Truck contact, Gatwick Direct, uh, Gatwick Care, sorry, 126 decimal 8. Disregard. Uh, is he 17 uniform Fox Truck contact, Gatwick Care, 124 decimal 230? 124 additional 230 easy 170 from Fox Truck, good afternoon. So it's 1 1, you delay approximately 3 minutes. Oh, is that too bad? 1 1. Mm -hmm. A firm, you delay approximately three, 3 minutes. Break, uh, Stuart 2542, taxi Juliet, hold short November. Taxi Juliet, hold short November for Speedbird 2542. Uh, he took round so that one is now red focus on start. The fans are 189, uh, stand by your number 2 for pushback, approximately a delay of 3 minutes. Oh, copied. And gather ground with 287 box ready for pushback. Clear to Frankfurt, Optic 2 to do departure, squawk 7255. Clear to Frankfurt, Advit to Zulu Departure, Squawk 7255, Lufthansa 035. Lufthansa 035, your read back is correct information, November, current QNH 9 and 9 are three hectopascal. Again, you've got completely overstepped there, it's not my data there, is it? 9 and 9 and 3 hectopascal, Lufthansa 035. Tomjet 1523, report your aircraft type and stand number. Airbus 320, uh, stand 5, what, Tomjet 1523. Tomjet 1523, thanks, you clear to your destination. Optic 2 Zulu departure, squawk 2153. Uh, clear to destination, uh, to, uh, uh, to Zulu departure, squawk 2153. Tomjet 1523. Tomjet 1523, you read back, correct, in station November, current QNH 993, Hector Pascal. Uh, Roger, QNH 993, the November, uh, Tomjet 1523. Do it one 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 stand one four one. You're pushing instead of three face west. Speedbird one 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 stand one four one. You're pushing instead of three face west. <laughs> okay. Speedbird 11, Sherman, I thought you said Speedbird 111, um, apologies. Negative, stand 141, you're pushing Starter 3, face west. Oh. Starter 3, face west, Speedbird 111. <laughs> 542, taxi That's over point, uh, Juliet 4, runway 08 right, via Papa, Kilo, Quebec, and Juliet. Taxi to Holland Point, Julius 4 for runway 08 right via Papa Kilo, mm. Quebec, mm. Juliet for Speedbird 2542. Mm. Ground uh, Skydriver 199, uh, we changed our flight uh, with an option from Simbris, uh, this is correct, which would like uh, departure because I have not told you after not to fly. Yeah, just stand by, easy 54 hotel, you can tax out a point tail for three, uh, correction, Juliet 4, runway 08 right via Juliet. Uh, I'm going to put Juliet 4 is it right, so by Juliet, easy 54. Speedbird 1-1, one, one, requesting taxi. And Speedbird 1-1, one, one, taxi, Juliet, hold short uniform. Thank you, Julia. How short is uniform speedbird? One more. And Gabby Graham, Wiz 287 Fox, ready to put a push and start, please. Wiz 287 Fox, drop send 101, you push and start, approve face west. Push start, approve face west, uh, 287 Fox, thank you. Can you one, 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 one. Pass message. That, so easy, one, 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 one. Uh, A-Firm, uh, you called. You pass your message, what's your request? Clearance, sir. Uh, yeah, I can't really do much with that. Um, can you report your aircraft type and stand number? 
K320 Nero, stand 27. Fox G number 2 for clearance, I'll call you back. I need to find more hotel contact going to 124 decimal 230. 124 230, you've got to tell me. with 1 1, continue your taxi order points out for uh, correction Juliet 4, Romy 08 right via Juliet. Uh, continue taxi Juliet 408 right via Juliet, Steve Bird 1 1. Delta 189, stand 142, push and stand approved, face west. Uh, push and stand approved, face west, Delta 189. Get the ground, Lutano 035, you can push and start. The station calling for push and start, force and only. Lutano 035. Defense 035, set your score 7255. 7255, Lutano 035. The count, just good afternoon, easy 870, Mike, Delta 1. Easy 87 Hotel Mike, Gatwick Grand Hello, welcome to Gatwick Taxi, Delta, Quebec, Hold Short, Kilo. Taxi, Delta, Quebec, Hold Short, Kilo, 87 Hotel Mike. And so it's 2542, just a slight amendment to taxi, taxi at the point Juliet 408, right via Romeo and Juliet. Right, let's get going. Taxi to Holland Point Juliet 4 via Romeo and Juliet for Speedbird 2542. Chatwick hmm. Ground, good afternoon. EC60 Romeo, IFR2, room type 8020, starting 10 with November. Thank you. EC60. Two Romeo Gatwick Ground, hello, Rod G, number three for clearance. I'll call you back shortly. Eighty-five four hotel contact Gatwick Tower one two four four two three zero. Seabird one one, just a quick question. Um, this. Uh, aircraft in front of me. Is that on Vatsim or is that just in my game? Uh, I'm not too sure. That's also a easy jet ahead of you. Yes, that is real. And Seward 1 1, you can contact Gactel 124230. 124230, have an amazing afternoon. Stay safe. Bye bye. Eat. Put on the engine one master switch that's spooling up now. Oh, I can't wait to see what this sounds like. World Express 105, let's stand 178 with a Boeing 737800 requesting our aircraft clearance to new UPS forward. I have information November. World Express 105, Gap Grand, hello, just confirm the stand again. Let's stand 178. Wood Express 105, Rod G number 4 for clearance. And easy 111, I've got your clearance already. Go ahead. Yeah, easy 1111, you clear to your destination, Osbic 2 Zoo, departure squawk 3220. Over to Zoo, departure 3220, easy 1111. Is he 1111? You read back is correct. It's information of Amber Curricula H9903 hectopascal. Over to Zulu, departure 3220. The station calling readability 0, static only, brake key Z87 hotel mic, taxi order point 1, uh, correction, taxi stand 106 by Kila. Stand 106 for kilo, easy, it's a little So we're just setting up the aircraft for taxi now, and then we'll call for taxi clearance. Uh, Berlin 375, you're cleared to your destination, Osbeck 2 Zulu Departure, Squawk 3520. Uh, Berlin 375 is cleared to Stuttgart via Osbeck 2 Zulu Departure, Squawk 3520. Uh, Evelyn 375, you read back correct information of Amber Corinthian 8909 at 3 Hector Pascal. Evelyn 1111, where is the push and start? Evelyn 1111, stand 270, push and start approved, face west. 
Catholic ground, uh, Scaris 432, type A320, stand 554, uh, and for November board, because I've uh, clearance to build out. Fourth button, star E1111. West. For some reason, my rudders aren't working. I'm not sure why. Uh... Scaris 432, Gap ground, hello, Rod G, number 3 for clearance, I'll call you back. FedEx 29, uh, uh, I believe you're at uh, Heathrow, you can contact Heathrow Tower, one two, uh, correction, 118805. 118805, yeah, it's 505. Sanjay 1224, good evening, XN 132, where you pick up I for clinch to Brussels. Uh, the station, the Tomjet calling. It was Tomjet 1224, where you pick up clinch to Brussels. You're still on Gatwick Grounds Frequency Break, Tom Jet 1224, you can con. Uh, sorry, uh, you're number 5 for clearance, I'll clear that. Roger. Yeah, we're going Wiz 287 Foxtrot, ready for taxi. Wiz 287 Foxtrot, taxi, holding point Juliet 4108 right to fire Lima, Romeo, and Juliet. Just going to write that down so I don't forget it, so Juliet 4 via Lima, Romeo, Juliet. Taxi holding point Juliet 4 is at runway 08 right via Lima, Romeo and Juliet was 2874, thank you. Busy 62 Romeo, clear to your destination, off Vic 2 Zulu, Squawk 0032. Clear to Romeo, off Vic 2 Zulu, Squawk 0032, Easy 62 Romeo. Easy 62 Romeo, you read back his correct information, off the current QNH 993, Hector Pascal. Off the QNH 993, Easy 62 Romeo. To the 2542 contact Gatwick Tower 124 Contacting Gatwick Tower 124230. Fantastic job today for e uh, speaker 2542. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Wood Express 105, you clear to your destination. It, uh, in fact, disregard. I'll call you back. I would ground. The delivery appears to be offline. Would you be the one handing off IFR clearances right now? Hey, sir. Copy that. We'll call you up in a minute. Let's ground. We'll start a little bit faster. Let's push and start. Easy one, 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 for taxi. Easy one 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 way for taxi. Yeah, easy one 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 one. I'm just getting back to you. Stand by. And easy one 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 one. You can taxi Juliet. Hold short, Romeo. Juliet, hold short, Romeo. Easy one 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 one. Uh, World Express one zero five. You able the Inver one Zulu departure? Ground Continental 25 Heavy, stand 560 with November IFR Newark, and I know you're busy, it'll be a minute. Continental 25 Cat Ground, hello, Roger, number 4 for clearance. World Travel 105, you there? World Travel 105, receiving. Are you able to be in the one do this, Arch? No problem at all. Uh, World Express 105, thanks, you're clear to your destination, routing in the November 6th tree, South Sam, uh, Sierra Alpha Mike, Southampton. 
uh, Skork 7601. Uh, could you repeat the routing, but Skork 7601, World Express 105. World Express 105, you're back track. It's Inver, November 6th Tree, Southampton, Sierra Alpha Mike. Okay, um, uh, yep, yeah, okay, I've got it, thank you. Well, uh, express what I thought. No worries. It's very good on Sky 035, we're getting Bush and Stop. Defense 035, stand 573, Bush and Stop, three face south. Push and Stop, three face south. Uh, it's going to four three two. You clear to your destination. Info one two departure. Squawk four two two zero. Uh, to destination Bilbao by the Info one Zulu would departure. Squawk four two two zero. Squawk four three one two. Okay, so I'll probably go ahead and skip that long taxi. Uh, it wasn't really anything special. Uh, right, but we have got clearance to go past Juliet yeah. 5. Uh, and we've got clearance to taxi up to Juliet 1 and hold short runway 08 right, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, and we might get a call from Tower at that point. Sierra Bravo, contact Gatwick, ground 121.805, bye bye. 121.805, uh, Sierra, Gulf Sierra Bravo. Speedbird 2542, clear for takeoff 08 right, surface wind 110 degrees, 11 knots. Clear for takeoff runway 08 right for Speedbird 2542. With a 287 Foxtrot, line up and wait, runway 08 right. Line up and wait 08 right, we're 287 Fox. Okie dokie, we've got clearance line up 08 right. So we'll go ahead, give it the beans, try and get some more momentum into it. Don't want to leave them waiting, because there might be uh, aircraft on final. Yeah, this arrow is really annoying me. With their landing lights, you could just tr click and drag and uh, drag up. But no, you got to find the arrow now, which is really annoying. Speedbird 2542, unfortunately there's no further ATC online at the moment. Monitor Unicorn, 122 decimal bye-bye. Monitoring Unicom 1228 for Speedbird 2542, thanks. EV1111, Gatwick Tower, do you read? Right, we'll sit here and wait for clearance, I suppose. Get the aircraft ready, so we'll stick that into TA. Spoilers arm, flaps check. Uh, auto brake max, lights check, overhead clear. Right. We are good to go once we get clearance. With a 287 Fox drop, clear for takeoff 08 right, surface wind 110 degrees, 11 knots. 08 right, clear for takeoff, with 287 Fox drop, thank you. There we go, right, let's get going. Easy 1111. Now, flex 53 degrees, FS runway, or something. Just there. One 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 is ready at Juliet four. 
Easy, one, 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 one. Thank you. Line up and wait, runway zero eight, right? Line up and wait, runway zero eight, right? Easy, one, one, one. Gear up. And we'll be following the flight directors, maintaining speed of V2. And it's a straight out onto our departure route. With their 287 Foxtrot, no further ATC at this time, Monitor Unicorn 122 decimal 8, bye bye. Monitor Unicorn 122 decimal 8 was 287 Foxtrot, thank you very much. See ya. Okay, look, we've got uh, autopilot on, on to Unicorn. Frost reduction soon. Average traffic with 287 box shot climbing 6,000 feet on the object due to the departure. Apologies if my mic cuts out or sounds a little crackly when I'm uh, pushing down the push talk button on VATSIM. Um, OBS doesn't seem to pick it up too well, so yeah, apologies for that. A bit late now, but uh, hey. Gary Traffic LM242, Juliet, descending 3000 feet on the Cuda 1 Victor arrival. Um, uh, your rings 424 is on frequency, what's your speed? It's a German truck format, indicated airspeed is 200. Roger that, and uh, then I'll keep it uh, 190 or below uh, KLM24, Juliet, so you can uh, land first. Uh, for your wings 424 at Gatwick. Alright, I will uh, go down to 180 if I'm established on it. Uh, Roger, yeah, I will uh, go down to 170 now, okay, LM2 for Judith. Flight level 370, cruise altitude soon. Uh, just sort of about to finish our SID, so we'll let Unicom know what we're doing early.
Can you call me the 1111 out of Gatwick is calling the flight level 230. And Gatwick traffic with 287 box climbing flight level 370. We've got quite a bit of the uh, aircraft set up. We've got the route in, we've got the top descent all calculated. We're just waiting for to reach top descent, or rather, top of cruise, then top descent. I'm thinking I'll cut out the cruise and add a time lapse, a small time lapse, maybe a minute's worth or so. I think it's time to cue the music.
So here we are, a couple of hundred miles on, and we're going to let Unicom know of our intentions. We've just started descending, uh, so we'll, yeah, we'll give Unicom a call and let him know. And prior traffic was 287 Fox Foxtrot, and in 4,000 feet from flight level 230. On long key 8 tango approach onto the runway ILS number 6. And there we have it. I think I'll cut to uh, where the descent is a little less boring and we've got a little bit more going on. say the Czech landscape is absolutely beautiful and paired up with this uh, 4090 of course runs particularly well so yeah Right, so we've just passed through 14,000 feet, uh, we've got everything punched into the MCDU, everything's sort of all set up apart from bits that we need to do closer to the time. Can't really think of anything else to do. We've gone through our uh, descent checklist, which is all complete. So we've just got to wait until we're a little bit closer to the destination now. So it is Unicom at Prague, there is no ATC on, so we'll be... 128, um, which means we will we'll be landing on our scheduled, uh, sorry, runway. So I was just checking out what runway it is. It's Sura 6, which is uh, what I punched into the MCDU. So we've, we're all good for that front. We'll be lucky to get ground on uh, as we land, but I highly doubt it. Prague doesn't seem to get a lot of coverage, which is a shame, but. There we are. So we're still in managed descent. Making a left turn in about five, six miles, like that.
try and get our lights all sorted. One less thing to do, isn't it, Leia? Uh, it looks like it's the overhead clear. We're still in uh, standard pressure. I think I think the transition flight level is uh, 050, so when we get to 5,000 feet, we'll switch over to QNH. Just making our left turn now. Into line with runway 06. Something I did in the cruise, which uh, you may not have seen, is I did make sure I calculated the runway stopping distance. Runway 06 is a 12,000 odd foot runway, so we shouldn't have any problems landing here with a gross weight of what, 60 odd tons? We're not going to have any issues with that. Uh, so, with a long runway like that, it leaves room for a little bit of a float, so we'll have to see how that goes. There we are, in line with the runway now. I turn on terrain. Stick on the LS button on the flight directors, or sorry, on the uh, primary flight of primary flight display. There we go. Got there in the end. Just checking our ILS frequency, so one 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 decimal one five, which is what is on the charts. Not quite uh, tuned into the or in range of the ILS frequency just yet, so we'll have to wait for that. Uh, but when we are, we'll f see the two purple diamonds on the primary flight display. What are we? Uh, 22 odd miles out. So we're not far out. Another 10 or so minutes. We'll keep speed 230 and uh, keep a nice stable descent. Traffic with 287 Fox Crop Position Speed 220 knots. how long ago that popped up but we have got the horizontal purple diamond now on our primary flight display so uh, we'll be able to see our lateral deviation and closer to the glide slope we should see the vertical diamond come into the area which is, I think it's just come up there so we're a little bit low uh, but we're descending with the glide slope uh, so it's all good not glide slope VNAV rather built in VNAV uh, and speed 220 knots. Aiming to have it about 200 knots for 10 miles. 10 DME. Just double check the overhead. Give the cabin call, let the uh, cabin crew know to take their seats. A little bit of a starter there, and we're on to QNH pressure 1004. Lovely sunset behind me. I think Prague are an hour, uh, an hour in front of Gatwick or England as a whole. So it might be a little bit later than what it is in real life here in England for me. Yeah. So arming the sp uh, spoilers, winding down the speed down to two zero zero knots. Water brake is low. Prague traffic with two eight seven pot drop reducing the speed two zero zero knots. Just let the Unicom know what we're doing. Uh, 
Right, so we've armed the approach button, so we're now going down with the glide slope on the ILS. So we'll wind down the speed, we'll do 180 knots or something. There we are. That is flaps 1, I believe. Flaps 2, sorry. So speed coming down pretty gradually, but we're descending with the glide slope, so it's all good, no problems there. Product drop it with 287 box drop 8 miles BME runway 06. Got interrupted by the uh, GP, uh, GPWS there, <laughs> trying to make my call. I've got the GPWS set to pretty loud, so it's uh, <laughs> quite hard to talk over it, especially on FATSIM. So we're doing 160 one knots. No, I think we'll bring it down to the final approach speed, which is 137. So we'll set the gear down. Lovely little sound effects there. We'll bring down flaps 3 in a sec. Uh, we'll do flaps full later, because I still need to use that. Uh, spoiler. Find the word there. There we are, so flaps full, called the cabin. It is her final approach now. Just we're about to reduce speed to final approach speed, and we are stable, so uh, we're good for the 1000 foot call out. terrain there so it's a little bit easier to read my uh, navigation display a little bit less distracting Quark traffic with 287 Fox is 4 miles DME that's it so we're 4 DME Romy 06 just about to get the 1000 foot call out 1000 there we are stable checked TA only in your approach. made that one. That was almost a go around with that uh, quite large float we did there. Um, but we're all good now, so we'll get the aircraft secured for taxi. Uh, we'll pause chrono, just vacate here to the right before we make any Oh, 
could have slipped on the rudder there. So lights all off. All that we don't need are off anyway. And uh, we'll be making our call for taxi in a minute. Well, traffic was 287 Fox Trot as they go to runway 06 right to the right on Bravo. Right, take a while to sort out my taxi route, right down and all that, but we've got the uh, aircraft secure for taxi and we'll uh, let people on Unicom know what we're doing for taxi. Well, traffic, Wiz 287 Fox, right, taxi into down 10 via Bravo Hotel and Bravo 2. Is that stand occupied? Oh, it is. Oh. Okay, uh, we'll go... Stop here. No. Uh, we'll go to the next stand. We'll have to just call it out on uh, Unicom. That's a shame. Rob traffic was 287. Op, op, uh, stand occupied, new stand 17. going on the external view to let, uh, show us where we've got to stop because there isn't any VDGS or any marshaller. So we'll do it there. Oh. Engine master one switch off, parking brake set, back into the cockpit. Right, we'll turn off the packs, we'll get the jetway connected, turn on the dome light, if we can manage it. There we are. Uh, seat belt signs off, sort out down there. Uh, oh, we've got to open the door. There we go. Uh, turn off predicted wind shear, GCS and uh, weather radar's already off. Turn that off. Switch that onto the door page, wherever it is. There it is. Uh, and get GSX connected up. So, jetway on, deboarding. There we go.
GPU connected, turn off the APU ground control on uh, that's it, fuel pumps well there we have it, that is a 2 hour 30 minute flight fully completed uh, with that sim, so there we have it well there we go, that was a lot of editing for me I managed to get a 2 and a half hour flight into 1 hour 30 for a YouTube video I did of course have loads of fun filming it though, as uh, I normally do with Flight Sim, it's one of my favourite games. But if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to leave it a like, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you get notifications on future uploads. Anyways, I hope you guys had loads of fun watching this and I'll catch you guys in another video.